Wow, is this really all there is? This has just come out recently. This is the Ridge Quick Draw card holder accessory. And it's a plate you put on the front of your Ridge, but you know, it's all really good. Let's open this up. Whoop. It is a tool type more than anything else. Great instructions, we appreciate that. Now, this is one thing I always appreciate about Ridge is they, they never leave you, you know, hanging with tools. Uh, there are some extra Torx screws in here, as well as here is the plate. We'll set that right there. And of course, they never leave you hanging. You have a tool, which is nice. Now, the thing to mention is that this only comes in one color. This is black, it, and it's okay. Why, is that what you're thinking about now? Well, I'll pontificate about this as we go along. So the question is, wow, is this really all there is? Well, the answer to that is yes. We have, for a feature review, one external card slot capacity, one card, quick access, and attaches the outside of any Ridge wallet. It measures 3.4 by 2.1 by 0.1. Yes, it has a measurement. And it weighs six grams or 0.2 ounces, as you would expect for it being so minimal in its size and of course its weight. But there is some engineering involved in this one, which is a little clever, so we'll look at it. Now let's see how this works with the Ridge wallet. Now as we get this ready to attach to a wallet, and the wallet that we have chosen today is this lovely burnt titanium, which we will pull out and make available to us right here. Uh, this is made in China, designed in the United States, and it is made from a 6061 aluminum with these springs on the back right here, which are stainless steel. And I'm telling you, these are really thin and fragile. Now, one thing to point out is that the screws that they send us are supposed to be used with this and not the ones from the wallet itself. There's a special design to it, and so they say not to use the screws from the wallet, but the ones that are provided. So, through the magic of video, let's make this happen. This is meant to only hold one card, that's it. And as we can see that due to the stainless steel springs that are right behind it here, it holds it in place. It, you know, this, this, does not, this will not come out. I'm gonna hold onto the bottom. Uh, this isn't coming out, but it just is very easy and smooth to push up. Now, of course, this comes because we have usability issues on cards in here. Um, you're, uh, as I've said in almost every Ridge video review I've done, you have the stack. You have essentially your card stack. And when you push it out from the bottom, you have your most used card either on the top or on the bottom. And so why not just have this available? Uh, the one thing is that this could be an ID, but the fact is, is that now you have your card exposed. And so depending on how you want to do it, you can turn it around, but now you've got your, your you know, uh, CVC number exposed. So uh, it, it's up to you. A lot, of, a lot of people are really concerned about exposure of cash, personal information that, that could be viewed by anybody around them. This is priced for $25. Yep, that little piece of metal, 25 bucks. So, plus the exposure of your card, the wear and tear, as well as there's no RFID protection, which just comes natural from the Ridge wallet itself because it's made for metal. So, if that's a concern to you, that's something to look at. Now, I can see the benefit of this being, let's say, a transit pass. I want to throw a transit pass in here. I can really see the value of that. If you've got a, a work access card for doors, you could put that in here as well. So, there is utilization for this that I think is still makes this attractive to those who don't want to always fish out their cards from the wallet itself. So, what are your thoughts on how you'd use this accessory? Let me know in the comments below. And now, on to the final score. Quality of four, price of two. A bit pricey for what you get here. That, that is quite a bit. 25 bucks. Features of three, it does what it's supposed to do. Usability of three, easy enough. And perception of four. It gives us a final score of 3.3 out of five. Now, if you're questioning me about the screws, it is in the instructions right here. If you're looking for something different, then look at this video next, and we'll see you in the next review. Goodbye.